So at the table or in the table, it says in a 45, 45, 90. Now remember, if two angles are the same, how many sides are the same? Back to our triangles two. unit, two. If there are three angles the same, how many sides the same? Three. And three. if no angles are the same, there are zero, zero. zero sides the same. Three. Good. So in this case, because of the 45, 45, we have two sides that are congruent. So therefore, um, we call them the legs. So they are congruent. So opposite this 45 degree angle is this side, and opposite this 45 degree angle is that side. So these are the two sides that are congruent. And opposite the 45 degree angle is this side, opposite the 45 degree angle is that side. So the two legs are congruent because opposite the 90 is your hypotenuse, okay? And for every 45, 45, 90 right triangle, you can still use the Pythagorean theorem, okay? But you can also use the shortcut. The length of the hypotenuse is radical 2 times the length of a leg. So what that means is, is if this is 3, this must be 3 because the legs are congruent, and the hypotenuse would be 3 radical 2. It's always like that. So let's see if we can go backwards. If I tell you this is 5 radical 2, what are each of the legs? 5. Good. It will always be 5, 5, 5 radical 2. So every 45, 45, 90 triangle is also an isosceles right triangle because two of your legs are the same. So we're going to write that here, the hypotenuse. So in terms of x, it's x x, x radical 2. So your hypotenuse is leg radical 2 in words. You don't have to memorize that, but just in words, it's leg radical 2. Okay? The leg is half the hypotenuse radical 2. Okay? But let's make note that we can always use the Pythagorean theorem. So your directions for the example say to find the value of x and give your answer in simplest radical form. Now those are the directions for the whole section. When you have directions like that for the whole section, that doesn't mean your answer could be a radical. Okay, it's just if, it should actually say, if necessary, leave your answer in simplest radical form. So in this question here, we know opposite the 45, this leg is 17, so then this leg also must be 17. The hypotenuse is the unknown, and if each leg is 17, the hypotenuse is equal to whatever the leg is, radical 2. Go ahead and take a look at number two. It tells us that one of the legs is 22, but it has a missing angle. What is the missing angle? 45. The angle is 45 because if this is 90, remember your two acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. So the 90 minus 45 is 45. So this has to be 45 degrees. So therefore we know that this is congruent to this because it's isosceles and then 22. And then, so if the legs are the same, the hypotenuse, remember, is leg radical 2. So x is going to be equal to 22 radical 2. Number 4, I want to actually do without using the shortcut and using Pythagorean theorem. To actually show you what it actually comes out to be, um, the legs here. If the hypotenuse is 25 radical 2, I want to actually prove to you that both legs should actually come out to be 25. Okay? So if this angle is 45, this angle is also 45. And if this leg is x, it means this leg is x because it's isosceles. So now I'm going to actually prove to you or show you that you do get 25 using Pythagorean theorem. So it's x squared. 
So it's leg squared plus leg squared equals 25 radical 2 squared. I need someone to do the calculation for 25 radical 2 squared. And then the rest of us, what is x squared plus x squared? You heard it? 2x squared, that's correct. So when you're combining like terms, you keep the variable and the exponent the same, you just add the coefficients of one out front. So 1x squared, 1x squared is 2x squared. And who has the calculation for 25 radical 2 squared? Does anyone have that number? Colton? No, 25 radical 2 squared. Brandon? Nine, what is it? 968. Well, let me actually, you may be right, but I'm trying to do that in my head, and I'm not getting that. So let me see, 25 radical 2, enter, squared, we get 1250. So this is equal to 1250. Let me get rid of that. There we go. So this is equal to 1250. Then we have to divide by 2. And we get x squared equals. Now 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then 50 divided by 2 is 25. Is 625 a perfect square? Can you take the square root of it on your calculator? If you take the square root on your calculator and you get a whole number, it is a perfect square. So what does x equal? There it is. So I wanted to show you or prove to you that you will indeed get the 25. But you didn't have to do this. You could just say, well, if this is 25 radical 2, then both of these are 25. Okay? Number three. The hypotenuse is not a radical. So let's star this. When the hypotenuse is not a radical, you will have a radical in your leg. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually do Pythagorean theorem again. So x squared plus x squared equals 10 squared. I can move a little bit quicker because we just did one similar. x squared and x squared is 2x squared. And then 10 squared is 100. Divide by 2 and x squared is 50. 50 is not a perfect square, so we'll have to simplify the radical, like I said in the directions. Take the square root, and the largest perfect square factor of 50 is Colton? Um, 25 and 40. Not 25 times 4, because that would be 100, but it's going to be 25 times 2. Did you remember to divide by 2 above in this line? Oh, yeah, certainly. That's okay. And then now x equals square root of 25 is 5, radical 2. So if you don't end up with a radical on the hypotenuse, it's going to be in your leg. And if you look at the relationship up here, it says that the leg is equal to half the hypotenuse radical 2. So half of 10 is 5 and then radical 2. All right, our second right triangle to finish is the 30, 60, 90. Okay, in a 30, 60, 90, the length of the hypotenuse is blank multiplied by the length of the shorter leg. And that's twice. The hypotenuse is two times your shorter leg. And then the longer leg is going to be radical three multiplied by the length of the shorter leg. This could get tricky. This is a radical three. Sorry, the pen's in the way. So what this is saying is, is if you can, always find, take a highlighter, always find the length of your shorter leg first if possible. Okay, so if now the shorter leg, there's only two legs. You have two angles, a 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. Based on the last unit of triangles, which leg is shorter? The leg opposite the 30 or opposite the 60? opposite the 30 because it's the smaller. So if this is 3, 
The hypotenuse is two times that, so two times three would be six. And then opposite the 60 is whatever this number is, radical three. Okay, so this time instead of giving you the shorter leg, I'm gonna give you the hypotenuse. If the hypotenuse is say 12, what is the shorter leg? Six, good, because the hypotenuse was double that, so this must be a six. And then opposite the 60 is three, radical three multiplied by the shorter leg. Okay, down here, before I look at this right here, we're going to cross this out. You really only need to have memorized that this is x, this is 2x, and this is x radical 3. Tonight's homework, I'll scan it and take a look, and there may be some opportunities for bonus or extra credit. I'm not going to give you the harder type of problems when it comes to 30, 60, 90. We'll only do the easier ones. So if there's any difficult ones on the homework, we'll offer some extra credit, okay? So down below, well, actually, let's go back up. You see this type of triangle when you have an equilateral triangle because all angles are what? 60, the same. So when you draw the altitude, these are both 60 because they're all 60, but this altitude cuts that 60 degree angle in half. So that's how you end up with a 30, 60, 90 triangle, okay? So let's take a look at the examples below. Given a hypotenuse of 18, you're always looking to find the shorter leg. So the shorter leg is opposite the 30. What's the value of x if this is 18? If you go back up to the top, the hypotenuse was two times the length of the shorter leg. So we have to go backwards, Colton? Nine. Nine is correct. So let's actually just make some notes here though. So I'll get rid of that equal sign so you guys know how to get that. So x is equal to 18 over two, which is nine. It's half the hypotenuse. Shorter leg is half hypotenuse. And then what would the angle, or what would the side opposite the 60 degree angle be? So let's go back up to the picture. I'll erase it. But we're saying that opposite the 30 is 9. The hypotenuse is 2 times 9 or 18. So this should be what radical 3 opposite the 60? Good. 9 radical 3. And number two, and you want to look at, again, having that shorter leg. This time we do have the shorter leg instead of the hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse is going to be double that. So y equals 2 times 2, which is 4. The hypotenuse is 2 times the shorter leg. And then once you have that, your longer leg, look at these two numbers here. This was 9, this is 9 radical 3. That will always happen where these numbers match. So if this is 2, this is going to be 2 radical 3 opposite the 60. So opposite the 60, you should see a radical 3. Okay, so we are going to modify this one because I won't give you any harder ones like this. So let's make this something radical 3. Let's do 10. So if opposite the 60 is 10 radical 3, then opposite the 30 is going to be which number? If you have a highlighter, take and highlight your legs. So the legs are 9, 9 radical 3. The legs are 2, 2 radical 3. So if this leg is 10 radical 3, what must this leg be? Not 10 radical 3, but... 10. They can only, one side, if one side's in terms of a radical, the other one's not. It's just the same number. So this would be, is 10. And then your hypotenuse right here is 2 times that shorter leg. So y is equal to 2 radical, or I'm sorry, 2 times 10. 
So y is equal to 20. Let's make this last one another easy one. So let's actually change this to the y and change this to 24 radical 3. Highlight your two legs if you need to. The legs are here and here. And who can tell me what x is? x is the other leg. And if this is 24 radical 3, what's this one? Thank you, Cole, for raising your hand. It is 24. So the legs are either 9 radical 3, 9, 2 radical 3, 2, 10 radical 3, 10. This is 24 radical 3. This is going to be 24. And then the hypotenuse, we have 9, 9 radical 3. We double it to get 18. 10 radical 3, 10, double 10 to get 20. So 24 radical 3, 24, double 24 to get 48.